Hello Capricorn, welcome to you and them love reading. This is going to be focused on your person as well as you and what's going on between you. This will be for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It'll be a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Capricorn watching. So just keep that in mind. If it's not your reading, don't try to make it fit. It just wasn't your reading this week, but maybe next week's will be. So let's get into this. This will be for those of you who already have some sort of a connection or someone in mind. I'm going to start with the Wild Unknown Animal Spirit Oracle deck to get some idea of what energies you're bringing to the connection. So let's get started for Capricorn Spirit. Messages for Capricorn regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Messages for Capricorn Spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Messages for Capricorn, please, regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. Capricorn, I'll start with you. Huge thank you to everyone who has commented, liked, subscribed. I really appreciate it. All right, Spirit, what are Capricorn's energies at this time regarding this person they are in a connection with? Tell me about Capricorn's energies at this time regarding the person they are in a connection with. Oh, we got the unicorn. Seeing is believing. I'm going to be um, reading that for you. It's a spirit card, so it's a very special card here. Um, reconnecting to higher wisdom or divinity. It's difficult to see, hear, or think of a unicorn without immediately questioning if it's real. Um, we wonder where our intuition comes from and if we can really trust it. We think about a higher power and our mind hesitates between yes, no, and maybe. The unicorn card appears and wakes us up to curiosity about the higher self and the divine. It is a card of questioning, exploring, and contemplating the inexplicable. So what I'm seeing here is like you might be wondering if something's too good to be true, if what you're seeing is the truth when it comes to this person, if you can trust your intuition about this person. I feel like there's a lot of doubt for you or at least curiosity about if what you're feeling or thinking about this person is real. So let's see. Tell me about Capricorn's person spirit. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn at this time spirit? What energies are they bringing to this connection? Oh my gosh, I keep getting the whale. I got it for Virgo and Taurus as well. So all the earth signs got the whale at least in one spot. So I'm going to tell you what I told them. The whale is somebody who's very compassionate, deep person, spiritual person. They have a lot of deep emotions. Um, they're also very, I don't know how to explain. It's almost like whatever they've been through hasn't, hasn't really held them. Like it's, it's almost like they're, they've made peace with their life, you know, and they carry these experiences with them and it makes them into a better person. So the whale represents profound emotional health and stability. Whale personalities are not afraid of emotional expression. Um, these experiences, oh, they have overcome many challenges in their lives and these experiences have enriched them, given them stability, strength, and a depth that is rare. So they are very special people. So I feel like when it comes to your person, they might be thinking of you as this whale energy someone who has been through a lot but is still a very special person um someone that's very strong and deep and stable um or they could be like this and thinking of you as someone that can add to their life so let's see let's get into the tarot here i'm sorry for the noise in the background i'm picking up the trash Using the light tears to row. All of the decks that I'm using are linked down below if you're interested for Capricorn. Messages for Capricorn, please. We do reversals on this channel, so if you do not like reversals, then I do not recommend that you watch. 
I have no control over what comes out, so it is what it is. The message is the message. And I love having reversals because obviously every every tarot reader is differently, but I, different. But I love having reversals because I get so many more messages, so many many more complex messages, and it tends to resonate a lot with you guys watching, at least from the comments that I get. So if this is resonating for you in some way, then please leave me a comment. I love to hear from you how the readings are resonating or what your stories are. All right, enough talk. All right, let's get into this. Let's start with you, Capricorn. I have you on one side and your person on the other, but feel free to flip the energies if it resonates more for you. Tell me about Capricorn spirit. Well, these two just came right out. Seven of Wands, Reverse, and Queen of Wands. Beautiful. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy with the Queen of Wands. Um, I feel like you're a confident, motivated, passionate, creative person very attractive person or attracting good things towards you at this time with the seven of wands reverse though i feel like you're no longer fighting back or defending yourself it's, it's you know i feel like there's like a freedom here like you don't care what anybody's thinking about you um maybe when it comes to this connection you don't care about defending this connection to other people or uh, justifying yourself to other people when it comes to this connection you might be also giving up this feeling of always being defensive as well. Like you don't even like, why am I going to be defensive towards people where I don't even care what they're thinking about me? That kind of energy. Let's see what else for Capricorn. What are Capricorn's energies at this time? Could be that you're motivated towards your person, attracted towards your person as well. Tell me more for Capricorn, please. Wow, Six of Swords reversed. So you could be wanting your person to return to you or you might be wanting to leave a situation or a difficult just situation towards something more peaceful, but you might be delayed. There might be setbacks there. I really think, oh, but I have the Five of Cups at the bottom. So I think you just miss your person. You're missing your person or you're thinking of the past, maybe thinking of regrets that you have regarding the past, which I think have to do with this person. I feel like you want the past back. You miss what you've lost. So let's see. Tell me about Capricorn's person. What are their energies at this time? Okay. Okay, we got Justice, Libra energy here. And the two of swords reverse. So it could be that your person has finally made a decision here about a, a difficult, it, it was a difficult choice and they've made it. So I'll have to clarify to see which one this is. It could also be that your person refuses to make a decision. So we'll see. What else can you tell me about Capricorn's person? What are their energies at this time towards Capricorn? What are their energies at this time? towards Capricorn. Oh, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Interesting. So there has been some sort of loss here. Either your person's having financial difficulty, the loss of a job, uh, have missed an opportunity or are unable to fully commit to you or have a new beginning with you. One of those things. We'll clarify to see. Tell me about the mutual energies here. What's going on in this connection between Capricorn and this person? the mutual energies here spirit three of swords reverse interesting so there could be healing to this connection um for others of you there's a third party interference what else spirit what else what else can you tell me about this connection mutual energies please between capricorn and this person Oh, that's too many. Show energies between Capricorn and this person. Whoa, King of Swords reverse. Communication is not good. Uh, someone could be emotionally detached as well. Closed off. 
mean sometimes. There could also be something that one of you here is not being completely honest about. So let's clarify. Let's get into this. Spirit, help me clarify these energies, please, for Capricorn. Help me clarify these energies for Capricorn. Oh, I was like, what's that noise? And it's my dog snoring. Help me clarify these energies, please, for Capricorn. Let's start with this Three of Swords reverse. What is this Three of Swords reverse about for Capricorn? What is this Three of Swords reverse about? <laughs> That's so funny. The Devil reverse. Breaking free of an unhealthy attachment. Capricorn energy, there you are. Again, healing. I feel like there's some sort of healing taking place here. But then I have the Queen of Swords reverse. So maybe breaking free from an unhealthy attachment is going to cause problems for you or you're going to have difficulty communicating with someone or you're dealing with a Queen of Swords reversed energy, either you or your person, because these are mutual energies. So both of you are here. Someone's breaking free of a difficult situation and they're doing it because they're healing or they want to heal a connection. Tell me about the King of Swords reverse. What is the king? Whoa. Five of Cups kind of came out in limbo here. So I'm just going to put it like this. And then I have here Eight of Swords. So do I have anything else that flipped over? No. So someone's kind of stuck, uh, unsure of what to do. This Two of Swords energy. Um, frozen or uh, paralyzed by fear, by overthinking. Um, I feel like it has to do with something regarding the past because I have the Five of Cups. So it could be that someone hasn't been completely open about how they feel regarding uh, you, Capricorn, here. Maybe they're being emotionally closed off altogether because their emotions make them feel regret, sadness, or guilt. Um, maybe they miss you terribly as well, or they want to recover what's been lost and don't know how, which causes frustration. Again, I get the sense, look at this, Eight of Swords and then the Nine of Pentacles. I get the sense of freedom. Like someone finally breaking free of being bound by some by something or someone. Okay. So let's get into this here. I'm just going to move these. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Four of Cups reverse. Renewed interest. No longer dissatisfied. Um, there's something that you want. And you've changed, you've had a change of heart or changed your mind about it. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Tell me more about this Queen of Wands. Whoa, Ace of Swords Reverse. There's something off here. And I feel like it's between both of you. Like there's no clarity or something. It's like you're hiding things from each other or, you know, and it doesn't have to be a negative thing. It could just be that you are not having, maybe your intuition is blocked or you're not seeing very clearly because you're in the situation, right? You have to step out of a situation sometimes to look at it clearly with new eyes. There could be something that you're maybe not telling your person here, maybe not telling them how you truly feel or what you truly want or um, something like that. It could also be that there's, you know, not very good communication here. Even if you want something with your person, maybe your communication is blocked in some way. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. It could be that there's some sort of deception or communication that, or blocked communication or bad communication that has caused you to change your mind or have a change of heart as well. Tell me about the Seven of Wands reverse. K 
King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. Wow. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy with the King of Cups. Again, I feel like um, there's stability, long-term commitment, love, f genuine emotion here. And it's like, you're so... Again, that too good to be true energy. And it's like, you don't really care what anybody else is thinking here. Um, you don't really care about justifying yourself to anybody here. Or perhaps, you know, this is something that you feel is out of your reach and too good to be true. And so you're keeping... It's almost like you, you, you can't help yourself. You're giving in despite yourself if that makes sense tell me about the six of swords reverse tell me about the six of swords reverse i just got the message that some of you think that love is beyond your reach altogether like it's a dream that's for some of you out there tell me about the six of swords reverse queen of pentacles reverse we have a lot of people here Three people. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Uh, they tend to be a little selfish, needy. They are uh, dependent on others, sometimes financially. I feel like there's a there's a block here with the Queen of Pentacles reversed. If this is a third party, uh, this is what's blocking someone's departure or coming to you. So tell me about justice. Justice could be a legal matter. It could be your person wanting to rebalance the situation, make things right, be objective and rational when it comes to a decision. Tell me about justice. Whoa, King of Wands reverse. More people here. What else can you tell me about justice? King of Wands reverse. Yeah, there's an imbalance here. Bottom of the deck, three of pentacles. There's an imbalance here. Your person is, um, I feel like for some of you, this is a legal situation that your person is almost like it's it's not really working out in their favor here. Um, even though this is just as upright, I have the six of pentacles and the king of wands reverse. King of wands reverse tends to be the opposite of justice. Um, they're very uh, impulsive. They jump in without thinking. They're reckless, uh, unable to finish what they start, unable to commit to anything, uh, tend to have hot tempers, um, big egos, that kind of energy. So the King of Wands reverse is not somebody that can be objective or logical or truthful sometimes about a decision. So I have a feeling that this has to do with um, either your person is unbalanced and trying to come into balance. Um, maybe they're experiencing, un, you know, something's just not working out for them or, or, or they're putting in all of the effort or not a lot of effort into this situation, which is causing an unbalance. I feel like when it comes to this commit, like connection here, I feel like, your person is not putting in the same amount of effort or or maybe you feel like they're not feeling the same way about you that you are about them. Maybe they're unable to commit at this time or they're just dealing with, with a lot because I have the Ace of Pentacles reversed here. This could be a divorce for some of you where, you know, if your person's getting a divorce or breaking a commitment here, um, they're going to be like, financially having issues or or something like that because this is um ace of pentacles reverse can be a broken commitment as well the reason i say a divorce too is because i have the three of pentacles at the bottom working together three people tell me about the two of swords reverse what's the two of swords reverse doing here oh my gosh ace of cups reverse I get one more for the two of swords reverse. The Hierophant and the moon reversed. Wow. Pisces energy with the moon, Taurus energy with the Hierophant. I feel like there's no love in a commitment here or heartbreak. 
regarding a commitment, regarding something's going to come to light that's going to cause a lot of heartbreak here or disappointment. Um, I think it has to do with a commitment with the higher font. Um, and then with the two of swords reversed, I feel like someone here is going to make a decision regarding this whole situation. Whatever comes to light, whatever secret comes to light that's difficult um, regarding a connection or a commitment um, or a marriage, this could definitely be the end of a marriage here for some of you. Um, oh. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Oh my gosh. Can I keep my cards in my Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse, please. Okay. Page of Swords. Communication, truth. So your person, I feel like they're going to talk to you about what's happening. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles reverse. This has been a roller coaster here. Ace of Wands reverse. Your person over here cannot get anything started or off the ground. Three Aces reversed. So what I'm seeing here is that your person, whatever situation they're dealing with, Capricorn, it's keeping them from having a new beginning or a new opportunity with you or anybody. This is this is probably why you're not getting your hopes up over here. But there's some there's, there's somebody here that needs to break free of something that's tying them down. I feel like your person has tried to keep it together, um, but you know maybe they even appear like they have it all together on the outside but inside there it's this is a mess i feel like all they can offer you is communication right now and they need to be honest and upfront with you about what's going on and their role in it and what they plan to do but this is this is something that cannot keep going this ten of wands reverse is a burden that this person's carrying that he they no longer can carry. They're, the fact that they're not able to manifest or have a new beginning is really taking its toll on your person. They cannot keep this up. So something's got to give. Otherwise, I'll leave it here, Capricorn. Thank you so much for watching, for your likes, shares, and subscribes. And hopefully I'll see you in another video. Take care.